Okay. Drinking is good for your health. It don't, is. Don't listen to your sensor board. <laughs> Stupid reactions. Tune in for the <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions Edits. This is Corbin. I'm oh. Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram. And Instagram. Twitter for more juicy Twitter. content. It's Take so us on juicy. Patreon. Follow an official Twitter account. Ring the bell. We'll be on the location squad. And mm -hmm. two. Hey, hey, hey. I'm ready for Yankees baseball. Let's go. Oh, they're not playing. <laughs> Nobody's playing, Rick. <laughs> I know. It was good baseball season right now. Uh, yeah. I don't think baseball's playing this year. It'll be interesting to see if football plays this year. Um, yeah. It's it's, oh, it's awful. Anyways. It's all right. Anyways. <laughs> I'm playing baseball games in my mind. <laughs> Anyways, uh, uh, Virdas, whom we love, dropped another video of his. You know, he did that other one um, about uh, the on the bright side with uh, coronavirus. But this one is Shakespeare Explained. So, oh really? Veer Das explains Shakespeare. I All think right. in terms of Bollywood movies, I think is what I heard. <laughs> so, you know, we love Shakespeare. Uh, we love Shakespeare, and, and we, we love, love Veer Das. So, so uh, here we go. All right, three, two, one, go. Hey, hi. All right, look. The world is still very much turning, unless it's flat in the light dust. Birds are having a ridiculous party outside, because we're out of the way. Trolls are very much still trolling, unless that's just my Twitter and not yours. And everyone still seems to have their vision, except for the people I'm gonna DM this shirtless pic of mine to. <laughs> my point is this. Ah, uh, my eyes, what is that? Nice, huh? Sorry, that's my neighbor. I'm not really <laughs> gigging right now. There's been a bit of a pause in my lifestyle. And that's okay. I'm going to savor this downtime to really try stuff that I haven't had the time to do in over 10 years. That feels like a branded line. I'm not building up towards a brand line. How dare you? You're watching Paused with Veer Das and Black Dog Easy. <laughs> Here's Good a little timing. secret about me. Uh, you listen to Celine Dion every night. It's not a secret. She's a great artist. Secret is, yeah, is, I love Shakespeare. So today, in this pause, I'm going to take the time to complete the three Shakespeare plays I haven't read. They are Macbeth, Winter's Tale and Witch of the Third. And at the I'm end of the day, I would have completed all of Shakespeare's works. Nobody cares. I care. I care. It's my branded video. I'm supposed to care. <laughs> Sorry about that. But look, just in case you're not a loser like me, you're spending your time at home doing productive things like learning music. Happy birthday! It feels like one of your MF videos. Taking MFSN replicas. <laughs> it does. Maxing it's out your PUBG score. Die, 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 die. I'm gonna put some useful information out there in the world. Today, I'm gonna tell you what happens in every one of Shakespeare's plays and make them relatable to you in under three minutes. It's not that easy to do. So step one, I have to complete all of Shakespeare's plays. Step two, mentally prepare myself. Macbeth, Macbeth, Romeo and Juliet, Romeo and Juliet. Step three, <laughs> deliver. All right, are you ready? Here we go. All's well that ends well. A woman curses a king and then she dethrones the husband, but the shady husband already has a family. It's fully shady. Pati, patni, or wo. Anthony and Cleopatra. Boy meets girl, then dumps an old girl, then rehooks up with the old girl, <laughs> and then like she dies, and she dies, and he dies, and the snake wins. It's like a really sad, sneaky kayamat se kayamat tak. As you like it. Girl in forest cross dressing as a dude meets a duke, falls in love, turns out she's not actually a dude, and the duke is okay with that. Chachi Char, so beast. Henry V. It's like a tennis ball gift, and the English king invades France, gets the girl, and then it's like a really long French kiss. That is not in the script. It's Lagan. Henry the Sixth, part <laughs> one, two, and three. Baby king, baby girl, both get married, and then like they turn on each other, and all the babies are dead. It's very long, so it's like an Ashutosh Govarika movie. Henry the Eighth, king divorces his wife, gets a new wife, and then has a daughter who's chosen one, but not like in the Matrix, just like this kind of chosen one. It's Judai. Julius Caesar, emperor king, killed by bastard friend, friend chased out by new king. Hashtag Badla, it is welcome. Uh, king John, two wars, one marriage, one poisoning, piss. Star of France, it's Jodha Akbar, King Lear. Oh, king banishes a daughter, daughter banishes him, banishception, war. Everybody's angry, then everybody's in love and cheerful. It's DDLJ. Love's labor lost. 
four virgin dudes fall in love and propose women take a year to find out if they actually love them turns out they do lots of wasting turns to love mohabbate this is impressive huh i just wanted to take a second and point that out Hamlet. A man wants to kill his uncle for killing his dad. Accomplishes his mission, and everybody dies. So Heather. Coronavirus. A man loses an election and hooks up with his enemy, and the family is very upset that he hooked up with the enemy. And the family turns on the man, and the man dies. Sarkar. Henry the Fourth. Part One. People want to dethrone the king, then they try to kill him, and the son saves the king's life. Gangs of Bazipur. Part One. But then in Part Two, the old king dies. His son is now the king. King vanishes. The backstabbing friend, and everybody's happy. Bap ka badla. Gangs of Bazipur Part Two. Simbelin. A dude wants to kill his disloyal girlfriend. As you do, man finds out she never cheated. Gets back together with her. Everybody's happy. It's BV Number One. Merry Wives of Windsor. A serial lecher pursues two married women only to be like fully humiliated by them in public. In the end, it's much se dosti karoge. Next summer night's dream. Like a couple gets mixed up with like an other couple, and then everybody gets rearranged and married, and everybody's happy. It's houseful for much ado about nothing. Two sets of lovers lead their respect. Active partners on for a really long time until everybody eventually gets married. Kabi al vida na kena othello. One guy tells his friend that his wife is cheating on him, then kills the wife and the friend and himself. It's Om Kara. Pericles. <laughs> Prince meets his wife after shipwreck, then loses her after an other, then waits a really really long time and finds the right wife. Bag one. Taming of the shrew. A student pretends to be like a nobleman to get the girl, but he's a student, so student of the year. Tempest. A dude <laughs> uses magic to teach people a lesson. And winds up the king of Hogwarts. <laughs> you think you would stop being impressive, but still is measure for measure. Imposter manipulates girl. Sex happened. Real Duke comes back, eliminates that, and marries the girl. It's Teri Mere Sapne. Merchant of Venice. So like a man takes a loan for a friend's marriage, cannot pay that back. Wife of the friend pretends to be a lawyer to save him. It's like Munna Bhai MBBS. Everybody's impersonating something. Twelfth night. Girl dresses up as boy, falls for Duke yet again. Girl, not boy. Duke still settles for her yet again. <laughs> Apna sapna, money, money. Rich. Third, the second two men are banished. One fights back. King goes to jail. Man goes on pilgrimage. It is very, very random, just like Karan Arjun. Richard the third, king, tries to trick everyone. He is rubbish at it and is killed by everybody, including his nemesis. So, fan, uh, Romeo and Juliet. Boy and girl fall in love. Family is upset. Boy and girl die. Family is sad. So dark. <laughs> Timon of Athens. Pumbaa's friend from Athens gives money to a painter. He's taken for granted, then takes revenge with everybody else. It's Malamal Weekly. Titus Andronicus. Dude wins war. Queen is prisoner. Queen plots revenge. Dude becomes a uh, cannibal. I don't know. Uh, Ek Hasina thi. Troilus and Cressida. Trojan War. Two dudes love two chicks. One is betrayed. The other one is killed. And the third one is just doing like random stuff. It's Dil Chata Hai. Two gentlemen of Verona. <laughs> two friends. Mm, this is one brilliant. Girl, one yeah, cheat. it is. People apologize. Everybody gets married. Oh, and there's a dog. There's like a really cute dog. So, kal ho na ho. Winter's Tale. A king <laughs> accuses his queen of doing some terrible stuff. Queen becomes a statue, then comes back to life and messes everybody up. So, three. Comedy of errors. Dude and his slave search for their twins, find them and their parents. So, Angur. And finally, Macbeth. A Scottish guy believes I am king. Him and his wife kill the actual king, and then everybody dies. So, uh, no, Macbul, and that <laughs> is all of Shakespeare's work in record time. Boom. <sighs> so now you know what happens in all of Shakespeare's plays. Well, I mean, we know. I, I did all the work. You're welcome. In fact, if you think you can do it better, why don't you take exactly what I said and see if you can do it in under three minutes? If you do, there'll be a special prize waiting for you. Hey, do it, Rick. No. He just this threw down the gauntlet, bro. Take care of yourselves, guys. Hey, man, I'm making lunch. You want something? Kati rolls? Can we do kati rolls? Okay, so what did he say was the... Uh, I think, try to... try to, try to. I don't know what the prize... He'll probably, like, retweet you or something. But you should totally do it on your oh, channel. That's it? Yeah, but... That's I, it? It, I'm, it? I am definitely... I am seriously going to consider that, but let me tell you. It's content for your channel. <laughs> yeah, seriously, it is, it's an idea. I needed that. Yeah, that'd be fun. Try to do it in three minutes. That'd, that'd be impressive. Yeah, that was like, that, 
that's not one obviously he wrote everything down but that's not easy to, to do it and to do it humorously like he did um it's one of the many things we love about Veard. also also the fact that he's a shakespeare fan i would once again yeah. love even more to sit down with veer das uh and I'm not saying that there's an interview coming because there's not, but I would love there to be. So, Veer Das, hit us up. <laughs> yeah, he did say that when he was in town, but he we can't do that now, can we? No. Um, well, we can have the, Old Monk over so, Skype. Yeah, we could do Skype. The, well, a couple things. First of all, one of the first or second reactions we had to his stand-up stuff, I think we both commented on how clear it was that he was an intelligent guy. Very intelligent. Uh just really very very intelligent his comedy has intelligence his his speaking has intelligence and uh, this what he put together here is is not just witty it's just really smart yeah uh, and, but, and how about that did you notice the clock on his shelf mm-hmm. it's cool that's, I... that that's that's from a, a what's his name it's Alice, a famous Alice Wonder painter oh uh, uh, no oh uh, yeah uh, that uh, melting clock isn't it it's uh, famous? Isn't it? Um, it's not. It's the one with the screaming screamer, right? The. Uh... No, 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 no. He's known for. Um... Oh, good grief! Hold on, I'm looking it up. Great, um, great content here. This is great content. <laughs> uh, Salvador Dali. Oh, gotcha. Salvador uh, Dali. Yeah, no, I, I love clock. that clock. Um, but yeah, riveting content. That's why I'm so sad that, uh, I, well, obviously all this coronavirus stuff happened, but like, because we were supposed yeah. to see him live in concert because he was coming here to Inglewood and we were 100% going to be going. <sighs> 100% and, going. And I was going to, hoping we would be able to, like, it, there was nothing set in stone, but I, I was hoping to be able to, like, get in contact with his people so we could, like, either just sit down with him and talk to him or. Yeah, or, or interview him because he seems like a man that would be so like intriguing to talk to and fun to talk to, yeah. but like intelligent wise as well. Yeah. Uh, well, and here's a little fun fact for you, a little trivia. I think you know this story, mm. but for those of you who don't know this, uh, actors tend to be, especially theater actors, can tend to be a superstitious lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, that I've worked with actors who, if you're whistling backstage, will rip your freaking head off. <laughs> Uh, and I, I Macbeth, remember Macbeth, we were Macbeth. doing. Yes, we were doing. That's why I love that Lin Manuel Miranda put in Hamilton. They think me Macbeth every night. He makes them say Macbeth on stage, and that's a superstition for actors to not say that play by name in a theater because the legend is if you say that in the theater, the theater is going to close. Well, we were doing Camelot at the Pasadena Playhouse. We were having a conversation, me being with two of the other actors, and I just, I'm not superstitious. So we were talking about our favorite Shakespeare plays, and we were talking about plays, and I mentioned Macbeth. One of the actors turned to me and he said, what did you just say? I said, sorry, the Scottish play. He said, you said it. No joke. For the first time ever in its history, when Camelot closed, so did the Pasadena Playhouse. (laughs) And it was closed for like six months. And they re- they did a I I don't remember if they did like a bankruptcy or what they did, but I remember tur- when they gave us the news. I remember turning to that actor and he was like, "I told you." <laughs> <laughs> so dumb, so it dumb. Is. Uh, it but is. yeah, love your Das. Uh, one of the best things about this whole coronavirus is that um, people are putting out just content now. And yeah, like Veer Das, and then there's like other celebrities or just regular regular people as well that are putting out some content, and it's so it's good for the consumer, uh, just bad for our mental health having to stay inside all day. Oh yeah, it's getting to me. <laughs> our stupid reactions. Tune in for.